Welcome back to another episode guys. Today, I'll be showing you how to replace an OEM battery in a 2011 Audi S4. The replacement is another OEM battery. This is the original battery that came in the car since day one. So it's been in there for 11 years if we go by the build date of the car. I've had a good experience in minus 40, minus 30. I didn't want to experiment because this is my daily driver. The tools required for this, you just need simple hand tools. Just need a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter. I didn't have my extension for this video, but I would re highly recommend that if you have an extension, just makes it easier to get those bolts out. I used these for my impact driver attachment i do find that it just makes everything easier when you're connecting and disconnecting the battery One thing that I would suggest if you're trying this on your own, when you're using an impact driver, use it on the lowest setting. And when you're tightening the battery terminals, don't tighten them too much. If you do, you can break those terminals and that's going to be a costly fix. So if you don't adapt the battery, this is what happens. So it was at 0% the old one. So it doesn't think that I've put a new battery on. Let's see if it goes up when I drive the car. After a five minute drive, it's saying it's 20%. I'll have to keep an eye out and see if this works. If not, then I'll have to go for the adaptation. The reason I chose another OEM battery over an aftermarket was because in Canada I find when you try to get something close to the OEM battery, it's hardly 30, 40 bucks. Maximum you'll save is like 50 bucks, 60 bucks on an aftermarket. I think that the ECU is smart enough on these cars to figure out that there is a, a higher charge. I only drove the car four times and it's back to 100%, no issues whatsoever there. A few things to look out for when your battery is dying. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was, it was the starts were getting a little sluggish. Alberta weather can go down to minus 40 Celsius. I think it was just time to change it anyway. Enable the battery level meter. It's not the most accurate way of telling if your battery is going or not because if you really want 
to know if your battery is good or not you can just test the voltage on it for me it was a good indication because it started going down from 75 ish percent and it just kept going down all the way to 10 percent hey hack dog energy management system in the car it disables the keyless entry after a while so if you lock it and you leave come back if you put your hand in it won't unlock you have to use the key i did notice a little bit of a flicker on the display one day but i didn't it wasn't long enough that i could record it i believe those were the only symptoms see the manual on these is very detailed you can find a lot of information uh for the battery it's page 275 of this, of the manual where you can find a lot of information about the battery so if you're thinking of replacing it do read the owner's manual since i've had issues with the b7s4 with an aftermarket battery i chose to not worry about saving the 50 60 bucks that i would have so i just went ahead and got the oem battery all i had to do was drive it and the battery level meter just went from 10 percent all the way to 100 and i didn't do any sort of different driving it was just daily driving as usual and within two days it was back to 100 since these cars have ecus and energy management systems i'm sure they can quickly figure out that there is a battery with a better charge in leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what symptoms your car went through when you had a failing battery that brings us to the end of today's episode Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next week. Hackman out.